This is the Tony Kornheiser Show on ESPN 980. By the way, speaking about uh, who it's over for, it's over for this panda. The hell is this panda? Tayshawn. Tayshawn. Tayshawn Prince. <laughs> the panda. <laughs> different, different guy. Is this a he or, or a she, this panda? Yep. <laughs> Which? Is it a hermaphrodite? Is it a hermaphrodite panda? Can't Trans- join the military? Hermaphrodites. Yeah. So now, how do we feel, <laughs> Sally? I, I mean, you live in New York now, so you don't really care. But, I mean, do you have any... This I is supposed care. to be a big deal I'm a that this of, stupid bear is no, going back to China. You, but pandas transcend boundaries. Yeah. Pa- panda people, like Liz Clark... She is definitely a panda person. Yeah. She's not a Canadian, but she's a panda person. She hates no, Canadians. And I'm, I'm with Liz. I, well, you know, well, what do we think about All them? the little animals are my friends. Well, this th- little animals, this thing will rip your lungs out. <laughs> this thing weighs Jim? about 200. <laughs> when they grow up to be... That's this why they're weighs, called giant This beers. thing weighs like 400. You know, these are big. At least 300. This I is think like it's cruel. Th- First of all, everyone knows that this panda's afraid to fly. Is that so right? The, yeah, so no, the notion that they would put them on this plane... And they're, like, selling signage on his little cage there. They got, like, the BP logo and the FedEx logo. What I is- would like to see the cage be bigger. Well, yeah, me too. It looks a little snug in there for such a long trip. Completely agree. Can't even stand uh, up if he wants to stretch. But maybe it's a cave animal like a dog, and they, want, they like, closed-in spaces. Then why That's did we possible. have them living at the zoo in, a, in like, That's a five-acre right. lot? And, and by the head. way, it's a big clue that they're really dangerous because they're not just leading them on in a leash and being like, where would you like to sit? <laughs> It's, it's, class, yeah, they're moving class. him like Hannibal Lecter. Like, no one's within 10 feet of him. They're rolling around. He's got, like, the glass enclosed and the bars. Glass enclosed so you can see him reach for a razor right. blade if he wants to they kill someone coming to the cage. his face. <laughs> so, the people eating masks. So you're opposed. <laughs> the nice Chianti and some fava beans. He might be dinner in a week. They're sending him to China. Right. Yeah. You know what well, they do. Well, it's safer than being a dog in that culture. Yeah. So are you you're opposed to the fact that uh, FedEx and BP have have got signage? You don't like that. I just think it feels a little corporate. What do you and think? And I feel so? bad for the bear. He's cute, or she? I think, think it's a she. Do you think Snyder sold the rights to that, the naming rights to that? The kid? FedEx? Yeah. Does he have the right to do no, that? If he, no, if he if he did, it, the the bear would be named the FedEx Tayshawn. <laughs> <laughs> would be the. Have you seen the Puxatani Palomalu commercial? Funny, by the way? funny, yeah. and weird. Very Mama weird. looks very, very weird and Troubling. angry just about all the time. That's the only reason, by the way, to continue with Super Week coverage. The only reason I tune in the game, I do go to sleep by halftime. Once they start repeating commercials, that's it for me. I only watch for the commercials. I really don't care about the game. Honestly, truly. I mean, I'll watch it. It's okay, but it doesn't really matter to me. But I love the commercials. Can I take a guess as what one of your favorite ones of all time is? Anything with chimpanzees and suits. It was the monster.com with the jobs. And yeah. like, do you work with a bunch of monkeys? And it was the guy. Yeah. Surrounded Just by Just great. Yeah. Anything, any awesome. commercial at all with <laughs> monkeys in suits is better than every other commercial ever made. <laughs> I mean, I don't think there's much doubt about that. So do you have a position on the, do you, are you opposed to little uh, Tayshawn going back to China or going to China? I don't think anybody should have to go to China anytime under any circumstances. They, there's, well, they another, there's an editorial in the Washington Post today about uh, they've thrown another lawyer in jail. You disappear if you go to China. If you, if you, not to go off on an incredibly serious tangent, but no, I, I, I don't think a, even an animal shouldn't be sent to China the way that government treats people. Well, I'm she's going to be tweeting big... and stuff, so we'll know if anything happens. <laughs> <laughs> they're keeping, they're keeping dip, uh, tabs. Do you think they're going to kill it? No. I, who knows? Don't they, they revere are... pandas in would... China? Aren't they like cows in India? They're like sports writers. Aren't yeah. they, aren't they like, <laughs> I love them. Aren't they great? They don't, the Chinese don't love pandas? I, I don't know. It's hard to know. Do you well, think it's going to end up in the soup? Does anyone know? For, forgive me, because I really I haven't read anything about the story. Why is she even going? Was she like on loan? I guess yeah. was the it's, deal. Well, yeah. the, we no, we contracted. We the United States. The panda is owned. It's a wholly owned. The subsidy, species by by China. Panda China owns all the pandas in the world. That's it. So China owns the whole world. Well, they own the yeah, world, well, but they true. specifically own all the pandas. So you can rent a panda. We rented out a couple of pandas and hoped that they would create more pandas. Right. And did eventually, they breed? They, did, they got this one. Okay, so, but then this one goes back. It's like everything's grandfathered. Everything, we, can't, we made our own. It's like the Ping I-2s, it's like baby. The, it's the Ping I-2s. <laughs> you go back. When they call you, when it says China calling, when you get that phone call, like in the Manchurian Candidate, you go back to China. That's the way it works. We, re- we rented this stupid animal, and it is a stupid animal, 
who rarely is seen and is almost always hiding. And we paid something like ten million dollars a year for this thing, just knowing, for the pleasure of being able to look knowing at it. that yes, knowing that it was going to go back. We always knew it was going to go back, but we thought because we were the United States of America that we could we could finagle a deal. And the Chinese laughed at us. Mm. And for that and other liberal thinking, couldn't we, can we listen swap to this out the show from four to six in the morning on five seventy WTNT? Couldn't we maybe swap out like a. Raju Narasetti and a Paul Farhi and a couple of junior books. <laughs> get rid of him. So get I rid of that it. guy from Washington. Just get rid of him. Send him to China and let him work in a death camp. All right? Let, let, him, let him do that. Let him, let him, every single stupid bicycle in China that has to be fixed, let them do that. Let them do manual labor. Let Raju Narasetti work on bicycles till his hands fall off. And then he wouldn't be firing me from the Wall Street Post. Let him do that. Let him learn a little humility. So, Mr. Narasetti, we got 87,000 Schwins. We'd like them done by 4 o'clock. Death Star Radio. I mean, I could do that. Yeah. I don't know mm -hmm. that I want to do that. Mike Rowane has a good story in the Post today about this woman who, who took, like, hundreds of pictures of the panda every day. She had, For she had what an particular obsession. reason? She had a multi-year obsession. She was obsessed with the panda. What's going to happen to her now? Is she going to China? She can't. She'll I mean, make she's, a book. She's got her pictures to look at. Yeah, she'll do a co coffee table book. She's an idiot. <laughs> she's an idiot. Well, she's a panda lover. This is yeah. all she did? She had no job? She had no life? She simply took pictures of pandas every day? Pretty much. Every day? Pretty much. To, <laughs> to, to so what? So a light day was 250 pictures. A light day. Wow. To quantify the growth of the panda? Yes. This is like... This Look is at this coverage, though. You, you got live coverage right now. Yeah. You got aerials of, of the FedEx plane as they're loading the, loading the bear up on it. <laughs> it's just... It's, an, it's a wild animal. If you go to China and you see these things in the wild, they'll kill you. Well, will they, will they let her go animal. over there? What, or, is she going to go to China? Does she want to go with the panda? Is, she, is this some weird psychosexual obsession with the panda? <laughs> Is she a hermaphrodite? <laughs> because I don't she know if they went into on. that. I don't think they went into what, that sort of detail. What's happening with her, Sally? She likes <laughs> the panda. <laughs> I like a good hamburger. I don't spend my life taking pictures of cows. I don't. So are we pandalists now? Or yes. Maybe. Well, no, I think San Diego has a panda. We in a Maybe Washington. she was I hoping know. that the, chanda, the panda would change Proposed its expression. Proposed to her? The panda never doesn't do anything. <laughs> The panda is it doesn't have any interaction the with people. The panda is a bear with a cute face because it has that thing yeah. going on with the eyes. But right. it's a bear, and they have very long claws, They'll just kill like you. bears. Yeah. They'll kill They'll you. They'll rip your lungs out, Jim. <laughs> just for the just for the sheer joy of doing it. Kill for the love of killing. So what is so what is what's okay? What's the rest of her life gonna be? What's she gonna focus on next? A desert. That bear's her not life happy. is now gonna be a desert. Look at yeah, that bear. It's not a happy. Void. It's pacing really? around like it's a caged terrible. animal. Void. It is a caged animal. Well, that's what it's acting like, I'm saying. That's the picture lady right there. Oh, she's feeding it a carrot. Beautiful. No, she's, Lose a, a, finger. she's a zoo chick. She's a zoo chick. Yeah. I would like to see it tear someone up on the way out. <laughs> yes. That would be kind of cool. By the way, there are pandas in the, in California. There's one. San Diego Zoo has a panda. There's one in the zoo, and there's one who's a representative There's one in, in Detroit. District 9, I think. Well, there's, there's, there's another the, one the, in Detroit. But they're also on loan, then. Yeah, they're all I mean, on loan. I mean, how can a country own a species? I don't understand that. How can we stand for that? They're going to start calling this woman lefty soon. <laughs> yeah. she, keeps, she keeps sticking her hand in that cage on Channel 4. Oh, but look how gently he's taking yeah. the camera. Well, so that's because he it? knows the cameras are on. <laughs> you know, when, when, the, when the sheet comes down, it won't be so gentle. This is just really honest to God. All right. She took Panda 200 pictures a day. No, really, a good day was 1,500 pictures. How much, how much film did that? Or did she doesn't use film? Would, it's a digital camera? I would camera? think they were digital photographs. What is and, and she's papered this she's a hoarder of these pictures and a paper her wall? She's a <laughs> She will definitely publish a Do book. Do we not I think she's you. crazy? No, we think she likes the bear. She likes the panda. You don't find it a little bit unusual though? I do. I, I look I I myself am not endorsing this behavior. I'm simply remarking on it. You like the panda. I you love the said panda. You, you love the how many pictures have you taken of the panda? I don't take a lot of pictures of the panda, but I look at every picture that's posted on the internet. I'm like does Liz this, Clark. Does I, this woman post her pictures on the internet? Well, I think she shares them with people who have the same enthusiasm for the sweet. Would have been great if the there panda. can't be anyone in the world who has the same enthusiasm. 
because they'd no. all be out there taking these pictures all the time. She's, she's like those people that chase cyclones. See, if Liz Clark were here, she could probably help articulate this love of pandas <laughs> more than I can. In retrospect, I'm, I'm a little surprised. I'm really just a marginal panda lover compared to Liz. I'm a little surprised that Junior didn't crush the panda <laughs> when he was lopping off the heads of Earl Woods and killing the rest of the Kerrigan family. He, you know, his that anger, his anger knows no bounds. Oh, it just knows so no entertaining. bounds. So entertaining. This is the Tony Kornheiser Show. The Tony Kornheiser Show.